Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide. Now this week's Forzathon called Grand Prize wants you to basically use uh, any modern sports car of your choice to complete all of this week's challenges. Now you are going to want a very very quick one and I'll show you why in a minute but first of all let's get stuck in and pick out our modern sports car that we're going to use. So if you go over to your garage and filter all of your modern sports cars, I'm assuming most of you guys will probably have quite a few of them. And you, I would normally say you can pick any one, but to complete the first challenge, you're going to want either a very, very fast one or one that has high tuning capabilities that can be tuned to be very fast. So for this challenge, I'm going to use the Porsche 911 Carrera S, the 2019 model. You can pick that up in the auction house or the auto show as well for quite cheap. Now, I have tuned that one to X class, but if you don't have it, you can use the 2018 Porsche Cayman GTS or the 2015 one. Now, like I said, this one has been heavily tuned so it's pushing out 1400 brake horsepower the share code for that is 1532409599 and the reason i said you need a fast one is for this first challenge here which wants you to earn three stars on the moorhead wind farm speed trap now three stars on the speed trap is 240 mile an hour so you will need a very very quick and capable car to do this so here is the location of the moorhead wind farm speed trap just below the actual text that says more Moorhead Wind Farm, sorry. And it is quite a nice long straight road, which is pretty good. There is some very shallow bends in there, so you will have to watch out for them. But if you start on the corner at the top there, you'll have a nice decent run up to complete this one. Now, like I said before, and I'll keep reiterating, you will need a very, very quick car, or at least one that you can tune to be very quick. So this Porsche will easily do over 260 mile an hour, as you can see, hitting that speed trap at just 0.33 mile an hour under 260. So it's very capable, and it's a really easy challenge if you've got the right car for it. Now the next challenge here wants you to earn an airborne pass skill. So an airborne pass skill is obviously a pass skill at the same time pretty much as getting an air skill. Now to complete this I went over to the gardens cross country circuit. I did create a blueprint although it's a very simple one. I didn't change much except for the fact I changed it to just modern sports cars. So that's something you guys can do very easily or you can do just a standard race. Now in order to get this there are plenty of jumps on this race that you can do this on. So it doesn't matter if you don't get it first try or in the first lap, but pretty much after the first corner, there is a huge jump here. So if you're tailing behind a couple of other AI cars, all you have to do is floor it just beforehand, make sure you're obviously behind a couple of them, and then fly past them on the jump itself. So as you can see here, I'm behind this black Audi TT. I'm not ragging it around that corner to overtake him then. I literally floor it as soon as I'm going straight up to that jump so you can get a nice long run up. And it's really, really easy to do that. Now, like I said, you can get it done at various parts of the track. So as you saw there, going over that small jump, I went past a couple of other AI cars. And as you can see there is the airborne pass skill. Now, if you're struggling with this, please do say so in the comments and I'll help you out as best I can. Now the final challenge here just wants you to get two podium finishes in a road racing series event. So obviously we're all aiming for first place and to do this I headed over to the Lakehurst Forest Sprint where as I'm sure you're aware I have a custom blueprint called Super Quick. Now the share code for this is 208672282 and this is available for everyone to use. And as it says, it's a really, really quick and easy win. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, if you watch my content before, you'll know that this is a race we use quite a lot because it's really, really simple, really easy to complete, and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want. Now, a podium finish, technically speaking, is first, second, or third, but of course, you're all gonna try and get first place. That's how we do it in Forza Horizon 4. So all you have to do as soon as you complete the first one, is basically just do it a second time, and then that's the final challenge complete. So this week's Forzathon may seem slightly tricky, but it's actually really, really easy. Trust me, it's 10 times worse in the month of winter. I've tried that before and it's not as easy. So really, really easy Forzathon this week. But like I said before, if you're struggling with anything or you need a hand, just let me know down below in the comments and I'll help you out to the best of my ability. Apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. If this video did help you out, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribing helps as well. Apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Stay safe and take care.